Hey Tiger Cubs, ready? I got my daughter Maggie here. Again, she started out as a Tiger Cub. She's 11 now. She was four when she first started training in the Cubs program. So I just, I just love the fact that you're a part of our Cubs program. So our workout of the day for the Tiger Cub starts with that muscle drill. Muscle drill today is going to be about our leg muscles and the speed and twitches that we can create. So just like we do in class a lot of times, she's standing on her number. She's going to go off on, off on, over and over for 30 seconds. Then she rests for 10 seconds goes again for 30, rest for 10. She would do that five times, okay? So we'll just show you a set of two of them where she goes for 30, rest for 10, go for 30, rest for 10, and go. She's gonna go off on over and over and over. She's about five seconds in. I think she might be out of breath by the time she's done. She's at 10 seconds. Good, y'all can clap for her on the video there. Just keep it going. Here we go. Stay on your number. She's 15 seconds in. Good. Go. Parents can clap for you. Brother and sister working with you at home. Friends from the neighborhood keeping your social distance apart. Keeping it going. And time. That'd be 30 seconds. She rests for 10. Clock's already going. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. We'll stop right there. That is... Your muscle drill today, you do that for five sets. If you got to make that a little bit longer than a 10 second break, feel free to do so. All right, Tiger Cubs, we're here with our stance of the day. A couple of days ago, we did a tension stance. We did our chumbi stance. Today, we're going to work our front stance because we're also going to work low blocks in just a little bit. So our front stance is this. She's going to start on the footprints. The footprints are just like they were in that chumbi stance that we worked on. She's going to take one foot straight not over this way but straight toward the camera she'll go left foot out right there okay her back foot stays flat so now I'm gonna put this right here I actually give her to back it up just a little bit right there and there's her footprints for a front stance front knee is bent back leg is straight so that is our front stance she wants to feel that hold it for about 10 seconds keep the knee bent work that leg muscle right there then she would just step back where she started and she would take the other leg out into a front stance. Bends that knee, shoulders, hips, feet, all going straight ahead. She holds it, bends it nice and strong to where she can't really see her toes. Holds it, back foot stays down. 10 seconds of feeling that front stance. We're gonna use that now into our next section. Have fun training your front stances. All right, Tiger Cubs, our block of the day is our low block. So again, we've worked on protecting our head with our high block and our outside block. Now we're going low with a low block. The low block is simple. Hands up, roll your fingers once, twice, wanna do it with me? Thumbs on the outside. Take your right hand, cross it on top, other one on bottom, take the right arm straight down, pull the other one back to your belt. Hug again, hug again, low block's up on top, straight down. Hug again, hug again, both at the same time. Hug, hug, same time. Let's do the other arm. Cross this one on top, other one on bottom. Straight down, pull back. Cross, same time. Cross, same time. Now we'll do that out of a stance. That's our front stance we just practiced. So she's got one foot on her foot mark. Her knee is bent. The foot that's in front, that's the hand she's going to low block with. She hugs it on top, other one on bottom, and she throws it nice and fast, keeping that knee nice and bent. Again, hug, go. She'll do five on this side. Then she would switch feet and do five on the other side. Parents, if you have your speed target, something fun to do with them is it's like, I'm gonna to try to hit her right there on the ribs and she's ready to block that. Other hand pulls back to her belt as she goes, just working that low block. Have fun training your blocks at home. All right, guys, here we go. Our hand technique of the day is our knife hand strike. So just open your hands up. I like to say the word unbendable. Not sure if it's actually a word, but we're just gonna imagine our hands are unbendable right now. We're gonna take this one and close it correctly. Put it on bottom, take this one and hug it on top. It goes straight out as the other hand pulls back to our side. Hug, cross, strike. Hug, cross, strike. That's our knife hand. Let's go to the other side, open, close. Cross on top, close one on bottom. Strike it to the side, pull the other one back. Cross, strike. Cross, strike. So our goal with our speed target is we want to be able to do, if you don't have your speed target with you, if you don't have a partner, just have fun doing it on your own. But if you have it, you want to do a total of five with each hand. So she faces me, hugs, this one's closed, this one's open, and she strikes. Hugs, and she strikes. Do a total of five with that arm, then she switches feet, looks the other way, 
hugs tight, and strikes. Hugs, strikes. Just like that, nice and strong. Then of course, still using our accuracy training aid of that bottle. She makes her stance, looks at the bottle, hugs, and strikes. Strikes it very nicely. She switches feet. Hugs, it's coming at you guys. She strikes. Oh, it's a ground ball to second base. All right, have fun training your hand technique today. Okay, Tiger Cubs, our kick of the day. We're back to front kicks now. So again, really focusing on the front kick. We're going to talk about it sitting on the ground today. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a seat. Our hands go slightly behind us, and our feet are here. Pull your toes up off the ground. Pick up your right leg. Kick it out. Pull it back. Set it down. Left leg up. Out. Back. Set it down. Right up. Out. Back down knee is up out back down so then we practice that with our speed target again hands are up to balance uh face me hands are up and two these hands bring them up kick front kicks total of 20. that'd be 10 with each leg working on hitting with the bottom of your foot trying to hit that target if you got it and again our accuracy training will try to do four kicks of the front kick kicking the bottle one. We've got to do four with each leg. We'll show you one with each leg. There you go. Have fun with your kick of the day. All right, guys, we're ready for our Tiger Cup life skill of the day. Again, our successful seven, the seven words that we know. If we can figure out these, even at four and five years old, man, it's going to just help us be more successful. So, Listen, obey, learn, share, patience, attitude, and courage. We say them every day in class. This week we're focusing on patience. That's our brown stripe cub word. We talked about already being patient even when we're tired and being patient even when we're hungry. Today we're going to talk about being patient even when we're in a hurry. Some of the hardest time as an adult being patient is when I'm really trying to to get somewhere fast. Maybe we're at home, we're trying to rush out the door to get to church, rush out the door to get to work, to school, and possibly I could become impatient. Or maybe she's ready for school, she's wanting to get there and hang out with friends, but I'm not quite ready to take her yet. And she's gotta be patient, she's grinning, because this happens sometimes in the whole house. She's grinning about that because sometimes we lose our patience. What does it mean to lose our patience? Well, patience is wait without complaining. Wait without Complaining, another word for complaining that we use for the younger ones especially is whining. So wait without whining. The concept is to still be patient, but to still be nice to people through that process. So when we're driving as adults, sometimes we struggle being patient when we're in a hurry. The same thing happens with you as a kid. Maybe you're with mom and dad somewhere and you're ready to get home so you can watch your favorite TV show. You're in a hurry to get home or you're in a hurry to get home and play with some friends. We still have to be able to keep our patience and act respectfully toward our parents and toward our friends. There's our match app for patients today.